Today, we will be doing a brief recap on the Alexis Wilson case. A couple of months ago, it was brought to my attention of the disturbing cover-up that has taken place in Dalton that has been headed by our infamous mayor, Miss Tiffany Hinger. So today, what we're going to do is just do a quick flashback and highlight of where we're at when it comes to the investigation of Alexis Wilson by the people. Over the last couple of months, I have been doing a private investigation as a citizen or online citizen of Dalton, Illinois, in relation to the police brutality, the unlawful practice of police enforcement in Dalton, as well as getting more insight into the crooked mayor and her practices. We're gonna do a little flashback here for you guys so you can see how it all got started. After the tragic death, almost two years post the start of the investigation into the officer-involved shooting in Dalton related to Alexis Wilson, there was a letter that was generated by the attorney. At this time, the state attorney was Kimberly M. Fox. And then the letter dated February 8th, 2023. This was her finding. This was the letter that she sent to the Master Sergeant Dan Thomas related to the fatal officer involved shooting of Alexis Wilson. This letter is to confirm that the office reviewed the matter involving the fatal officer involved shooting of Alexis Wilson by the Dalton police officer, Jared Carlton, number 141, and Dalton officer Ryan Perez on July 27th. We have completed our review of this matter and will not be filing criminal charges. She says thank you in advance to the general public. And then shortly after, we received another letter to confirm the closing of this case or around October 18, 2023. The public received another notice from the public interrogation integrity task force and they had the privilege and the job to do a deep investigation into the officers and the matters involving the shooting they followed up shortly after kim fox investigation with a letter that stated this letter was dated to the acting chief at the time which was chief lacy Lewis, and we're going to put Lacey on the screen right now so you guys can get a memory of who this guy is. According to the finding, the Public Integrity Task Force has completed its investigation into the federal fatal officer involved shooting of Alexis Wilson, July 27, 2021. The Cook County State Attorney Office has reviewed the information gathered during the investigation, and that is some of the things that we will be inquiring about. The Cook County State Attorney Office completed their review and on October 18, 2023, provided a letter which advised they will not be filing any criminal charges. That letter was as dated February 8, 2023. So this was a follow-up letter after Kim Fox letter and us as citizens should inquire about the actual investigation tactics. So what we are planning to do and what we have been doing is working closely with the family of Alexis Wilson and trying to get the Public Integrity Task Force Unit to review its investigation of this untimely, horrendous death of a beautiful young lady, as well as show the public what they have done 
to complete the task of investigating and coming to the conclusions that they will not file a grievance. So after this presentation, we will have a copy of a letter that we are writing or we have submitted to the Attorney General, as well as Kim Fox, as well as the Special Integrity, Integrity Unit. And we're gonna read that letter to you. What we're gonna ask is that you guys sign the petition in support of reopening the investigation and making it transparent for the general public so we can see and know what is going on. The letter, letter reads as follows. If you are interested, there will be a link below for you guys to go on to sign the petition. This letter was dated on July, I do it about August 27th, 2028. Dear Kim Fox, this is an inquiry and is being made on behalf of the Alexis Wilson family from Homewood, Illinois. In February 2023, the Cook County State Office announced that the investigation into the fatal officer-involved shooting of Alexis Wilson on July 27, 2021 has been concluded and that no criminal charges will be brought against the officers involved. As a concerned citizen, I reached out to the Illinois State Police through the Freedom of Information request, seeking clarification on how they arrived at the decision not to charge the officer criminally. During my independent research, I discovered that the full narrative of the incidents was unclear, with multiple conflicting accounts circulating publicly. Further investigation led me to the video evidence that presented a significantly different scenario with that, that what had been publicly reported. Below, I am providing a link to the video that reveals the alternative narrative prompting me to question what information your office reviewed in relation to this case. Notably, it appears that several body cam recordings are missing. This is particularly significant because only two officers reported to be involved despite the presence of four on the scene. Moreover, the family lawyer did not receive a comprehensive body cram footage during the discovery process. As a result, my request to the Freedom of Information Department of Illinois State Police, which falls under your jurisdiction, have yet to receive any information concerning the investigation proceedings, procedures, findings, and evidence that led to the decision not to file criminal cases against the two officers directly involved in the Alexis Wilson death. I'm also keen to understanding what information your office assessed and research to conclude and refrain from filing charges against those officers, particularly concerning Officer Ryan Perez who has been implemented in several other fatal incidents that have not been adequately addressed regarding the public safety. Again, I wanna thank you for your attention to this matter. This process has been incredibly difficult for the Alexis family and loved ones, especially given the potential lack of thorough investigation into the tragic incident, as well as any other issues involving adults and police and the behavior of officers that may pose a risk to the community safety. This is the letter that I have written to Kim Fox and I also CC the Master Surgeon, Sergeant Dan Thomas. Now I'm sharing this information with you because I would like for you guys to get in on this fight with us. After you watch this video, which will give you a brief breakdown of what happened, where we're at, and then we're going to look into the officer involved in escalating this particular incident, Officer Perez. What we ask you to do is join the fight to get this case reevaluated under Kim Fox's office 
highlighting that we are forwarding this to Kwame Raul as well in his office. Even though we know that Kim Fox is not going to run again, we do know or believe that Kwame Raul will be. So what we're going to do is leave you with information so you can get in contact with him if you have any concerns. And we're also going to leave a letter for you guys to use as a template so you can forward it to his office, the attorney general, as well as Kim Fox while she's still in the office. So I want to thank you guys for being with us today, taking the time to go back down this path as we enlighten, as we correct the narrative, and we fight for justice for Alexis Wilson.